hello friends welcome to my channel today in this video i am just going to tell you some tricks in excel so for that i have already typed in one cell so like this so how to type like this normally when you are typing something it will go to the next row if you want to type multiple lines in a single cell how to do that we will see now normally if you are typing something in a particular cell when you putting enter it will directly go to the next cell then again you can type something and after you are putting enter then it will go to the next cell so like that you can able to just complete as shown in the video okay but here in the cell you can able to see a and then enter b and then enter c and enter d so all multiple lines in a single cell so how to do that we will see now i just deleted the typed one now we will see how to do okay so you need to type something and after you completing if you want to go to the next row within the same cell you need to use alt enter when you putting alt enter then it will just go to the next row in the same cell so like this we can able to do multiple lines in the same cell in excel so just to make use of it alt enter is the key for it okay now we will see how to convert the single cell into columns okay so for that also we have one tool so for that you need to go to so before going to the particular tool you need to select the particular cell that you want to convert into column so after that you can just go to data so here in data tools we have one tool called convert to columns that you need to click so after you will get this kind of dialog box so in this we have two option so i will continue with the first option as of now i will go for next so here you need to select particular tool other so after selecting other you need to unselect all other things so then you can able to see the preview how it is coming so once you confirm so you can just proceed with the next then you can just finish so now you can able to see how we converted a cell into column so i am just going to repeat the same for the next two rows okay so i am just selecting particular cells so i am just going to convert those into columns so as usual what i did before i am just going to do again so i am just going to see the preview then going to continue with the next finish once it complete it will look like this then i am just selecting the top corner and then just double clicking like this to get the auto fit row height okay now what i am going to do means i am just going to type something with the space so we will try to convert this into column so just to select the particular cell and then go to convert to column so what we have here is two option we have first option i am just selecting so in this delimiters we have option for space also i am selecting that particular option and going to next and here we have something called uh, destination and that also we can able to modify so i'm just going to select some other particular cell for destination like this so you can confirm that so when you are okay with the preview then you can finish now you can able to see so before what we typed also we have the new things also we have in the next destination so like this also we can able to make so i will just go for another example also but now i will use comma so like this if you have space or comma or colon in between also you can convert those into a columns so i am just going with the delimited first option so click next so here i am just going to select comma and after next so here you can able to select the column data format so we have a general text date and everything now i am going to continue with general alone again i am just going to put another destination so once you are okay with that then you can able to finish it so here we can able to see we are getting the output as per our destination so again i am just selecting the particular cell and again going for the same option now i am just going to continue with the fixed width option the second option okay that we will see how to do it so select that and go for a next so here we are getting a data preview like this so here we also getting some inputs to create a break line click at the desired position so to delete a break line double click on the line so like that you can just click by yourself wherever you want a column when you go for a next we are getting like this again you can select the destination if you want then finish now we are getting this kind of output so you can use two option so first option is much better so second option is not that much good
okay now i will tell you how to edit the particular cell so here we have the second cell that i want to remove the comma so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to double click it so then you can able to edit okay and also we have another option so you need to put a function f2 okay so by mistake it is taking only the number 2 so i'm just going to put function f2 then also you can able to use arrow key and backspace or delete key to edit what you want okay and again you can just click here and you can go to that fx top where also you can able to edit so like this you can able to edit the cells so thanks for watching this video if you like this video don't forget to hit that uh, like button and also don't forget to share with your friends and family members so subscribe and stay connected hit the bell icon for uh, more updates so see you with another interesting video and have a great day bye bye